Hello friends, today we are going to solve exercise 11.2 CBSC class 10 chapter 11 construction question 2. Construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on the concentric circle of radius 6 cm and measure its length. Also verify the measurement by the actual calculation. So they had given us two concentric circles. What is concentric circle? When two circles having the same center point, then that circles are called concentric circle. So here we are having two concentric circle, one with radius 4 cm and one with radius 6 cm. So first we are going to draw that. First we have to measure 4 cm in a, as the radius of our first circle. So this will be 4 cm. You can see I am drawing it. Now they told you to draw another circle with radius 6 cm. So again now I am going to measure radius 6 cm. So with the same center point. So what I have to do from that same center point I have to draw another circle with radius 6 cm. It's, it should be perfect because actually we want to measure the length also. So now we are going to draw another circle that is of 6 cm radius. Look here. Now this radius is 4 and this is 6. They told that draw a tangent from a point P on this. Uh -oh, they had not given the name but I am telling you the name. And this is our center point O. This radius up to here is 4 and this is 6. So first what we have to do. We have to join this center point with point P on a circle. I think you are not able to see this. Now you can see it properly. I am going to join this. Now tangent from this point P on this circle. So what I have to do? First I have to find out the midpoint of O and P. So for that I have to draw perpendicular bisector. I am drawing two arcs on the upper and the lower side for perpendicular bisector. From here also with the same measurement. You can see they are intersecting here so with the help of that I am going to get the midpoint. Okay, so this will be our midpoint M. Now with the help of this midpoint we are going to draw a circle passing from O and P. To taking OM as the radius. Look here. And here also it should intersect on P. Yes it is intersecting. So let us draw. Look here, I had drawn a circle intersecting the smaller circle at two points. One will be your point A, one will be your point B. Now join this. So these are the two tangents PA and PB. They said to measure this. We are going to measure it. It's 4.3, 4.3 and now we have to measure its measurement so we can write AP is equal to 4.3 and we know now we have to do actual calculation and also find so here we know it is forming a right angle triangle because in semicircle you are always getting a right angle triangle. And the radius of smaller is 4 and the radius of bigger is 6. So here hypotenuse will be 6 and one of the side will be 4 and this we have to find. So call it as B. We are having the formula for Pythagoras. H square is equal to A square plus P square. Means hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of square of other two sides. 
So here hypotenuse is 6 square and a square is 4 and b square. So this will be 36 equals to 16 plus b square. Okay now 36 is equal to 16 plus b square. Take this 16 here. 36 minus 16 is equal to b square. So this will be 20 b square. So we have to find out the root of 20 that is b. So here we can find out with the help of long division method. I had made me video on how to find the root by long division method. You can see then and it will be approximately 4.3 something like that. So we will get b is equal to 4.3 here also by measurement also we had got 4.3 here you have to write approximately thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you. thank you so much <laughs>